If I have an opportunity now to go back to South Africa, I can never go there for my life. Because I don't like there anymore. Understand? I don't like there again. They are threatening me. They want to kill me. They burn on my shop, everything, cars, everything. Look at how I am now. Understand? So I'm comfortable with this country now. My home, my country, Nigeria. I'm proud of it. But I don't think I will be able to go back to South Africa because if you are walking the streets, you are not safe. You understand? So those people are still angry by themselves. So the most, what surprised me a lot, when they are breaking the shop, governments don't even care. They don't even like bring a police to come and help the situation. So I don't think I can be able to return back to South Africa. These are just two of the hundreds of Nigerians who have returned home from South Africa. Arriving in Lagos late on Wednesday, they shared their stories after fleeing a wave of deadly riots and xenophobic attacks. Mostly foreign-owned businesses, including those run by Nigerians, were targeted in the violence which left at least 12 people dead. It's raised fears of a recurrence of the deadly anti-immigrant attacks of 2015 and stoked concerns about relations between Africa's two biggest economies. South Africa's MTN Group and supermarket chain ShopRite were initially forced to close all stores and service centers in Nigeria after retaliatory attacks.